Hello and hi, welcome back everybody. I'm Anna. So today we're going to talk about my FNA ex experience, fine needle aspiration experience. I do have a goiter. I do have five tumors, but there are two um, that they did the fine needle aspiration on. Um, one particular one was of interest because it looked very suspicious. Um, as you can see right here, that's one point and there's the other point right there. Um, so I'll tell you how it went. And, um, I have to say my experience was vastly different compared to a lot of these other women that have shared videos here on YouTube. And my sister has had the same exact experience as I. So here we go. The good, the bad and the ugly. So I went to the hospital, was done at a hospital and, um, <clears throat> that's just how my medical insurance covers it. I had to be there by 8.45 in the morning and I waited and then by 9 they had me back there. Um, I was in a surgical type room. I did have to take off my top and put on a gown with the back open in the back and you know the solid piece in the front. Um, they did put me on a bed. Uh, they had these pillows where I ultimately had to push all the way back and my head was resting at an angle going down like this is my body and this is my head and it went down like that so that my neck would be propped up and you know just jetting out so they could get to it they took my blood pressure that had a blood pressure thing a monitoring thing on my finger they talked to me about what to experience. There was about a team of seven people in that room throughout this whole process. Um, they were kind. They put the lights down. I will say that the doctor that I had was a good doctor, but um, <clears throat> bedside manner just wasn't there, meaning he could have had been a little bit more forthcoming, and I'll explain that in a moment. So the doctor came in and he stated, okay, so we're going to do two, two. I said, yes, because you got five. We're not doing all five. We're doing two. I said, yes, exactly. So, um, he said, okay, I'm going to get you ready. So they cleaned my area off with uh, two, two different things. They cleaned off my whole area. They taped off the gown like this with tape. Okay. With tape, they taped it off. And um, then they kind of made a square around the area where they were going to be working. So my sides were covered here. My forehead was covered. It was like a square area. Then um, <clears throat> before that, let me backtrack. Um, the first person that was helping me did find the nodules first and marked them. But the doctor goes back and does it himself as well. So the doctor came did the ultrasound again the lights are dim and he checked the area knew where he had to go checked the area knew where, knew where he had to go they used a needle to put the numbing stuff in my neck area and they used what they use at a dentist's office to numb you that's what they used that um, needle did hurt. There was a, there was a stinging. There was a burning sensation, and you could feel the needle going through. It did hurt. And um, <clears throat> shortly thereafter, they started working on getting the needle, the fine aspiration, um, you know, getting in there and going into the tumor. Now, a lot of people say they only had to have two or three go rounds, right? It was five times for my right hand side, five times. And then it was four, four times, not including, if you include the needle for the pain, five times here and six times here. Okay. So it was rather excessive. And, um, so what they do, let me explain. So he sticks the needle in, he's going back and forth, back and forth, and it hurts. You could feel it. 
I don't know about any of these other people here on YouTube saying, Oh, it doesn't hurt. I felt a little pressure. You know, I felt a little pressure just right around. No, honey, that hurt. It hurts. And I felt it. I felt it. And I was trying to keep calm. I was trying to keep still. I couldn't swallow during the procedure. You're not allowed to swallow. And he was going back and forth, back and forth with the first needle. And on this side, there were four needles, not including the one for the pain, which really didn't do anything. So five needles all together in my neck going back and forth, the four going back and forth, trying to get, you know, the, um, <clears throat> enough to put on a glass plate. So what they do is with each needle that came out, it'd be given over to the three women that are over there on the left. They would put it on a, you know, like a laboratory white thing where they look underneath a microscope. They'd put that out on there. They would dry it with a blow dryer. They'd look at it to see if the um, sample was going to be good enough. This side, one of the samples wasn't good enough. So that's why he had to go back in the fourth time after the first three. And no, it was not comfortable. No, there was pressure. Yes, it was painful. Um, yeah, it hurt. It hurts. And um, then right after that, you just move your neck over that side. You have it completely, you know, open for them to work on it she sticks in the um the painkiller that <laughs> you still feel everything um first which is burning um a burning sensation hot and then you could feel the needle going in like this you know going throughout your neck then he sticks in the other needles one by one and i could feel all of it I could feel it and it, it hurt the most when he would go up under and get a sample from underneath. It would hurt the most. And um, th this whole time, you're not allowed to swallow. It was very long and um, it felt like an eternity for me. I kept as still as a statue because I wanted it just to be done and over with. I was so uncomfortable. I was trying not to cry. I mean, they could tell my eyes were all, you know, wet. And I was just like talking to God the whole time saying, just get me through this. Just get me through this. After they were done, the doctor said, you did a great job. You didn't move. You're incredible. I know we had to go in a lot of extra times. Um, the normal, you did great. Uh, you're, you're one of the better patients. And I just, I just kind of looked at him and I said, thanks. And I thanked everybody who was in there for, you know, being there to expedite this, to figure out if I'm okay or not. Um, then I, they pulled the, the seat up like this, you know, cause it goes up like that. They pulled the seat up and I sat there for a little while. <clears throat> just trying to get my, um, trying to get my grounds again. Cause you know, when you're in an awkward position with your head leaning like this, um, I do have vertigo. So my vertigo was kind of, uh, messing with me just a little bit. It did mess with me just a little bit. I'm glad I didn't have anything to eat. I didn't eat anything before I went in there cause I didn't want to get sick you know, while they were doing the procedure with the vertigo, if it kicked in while I was in that weird position, they gave me my clothes. They left the room. They're like, go ahead and get dressed. And we're going to have your test results available within five working days. So that means, you know, sometime next week, it's Wednesday. Um, so sometime next week I'll find out, but I still need to do my blood work. Uh, I haven't gone yet. So I need to do my blood work and those two days worth of blood work that I need to do. One of them is with a steroid and the other one is without. And um, they have certain rules of um, things that I have to do as well. So I need to get those done. Maybe I could try to, and it has to be done before seven o'clock in the morning. That's the thing. Um, I could tell you that after I left, 
felt tired, a lot of pain, all this hurts, all of this hurts from here to here and radiating towards my back. It hurts. It hurts to, even right now, it hurts to swallow, particularly on this side. I don't know why I could feel more pain on this side than this side when I swallow. Um, but my whole neck hurts. I just did take three ibuprofen. I have the, um, the letter which shows me what to look out for. And if I feel a certain way, I have to go back to the hospital immediately. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's my experience and my sister's experience as well. You know, it was painful. My sister, even when she had hers done, she actually had to have her parathyroid. Was it? She had to, she had to get her thyroid or parathyroid removed because of tumors. My sister's had, you know, the surgery where they cut you here and then they take stuff out. She's actually had to have stuff removed. But when they did the FNA on her the second time around, she was like, you guys are done. Whatever you got, you got. That's it. You're not going back in because it was so painful because it hurts so bad. And I just, I'm dumbfounded. I am like beyond everybody here was telling me, oh, it doesn't hurt. It just, oh, it's just a little pressure. It doesn't, what are you people talking about? Oh my God, that hurts. It hurts. And even now, look, I just, I just like this and it hurts. I'm in pain even now. Even now I'm still in pain and there's, you're going to be in pain for the next couple of days. So that's my experience. My sister had the same experience and she's had things removed. And, um, I'm just, I was a little disillusioned with going in there thinking, oh, it's not going to be that bad. Everybody said it's not that bad. I'm making more of it than what it is. Oh my God. <laughs> No, I wasn't. That hurts. And anybody that goes in, just be prepared to feel some pain. Be prepared. Meditate and tell yourself, you're going to get through this. It's going to hurt, but you're going to get through this. It's not like an hour long or anything like that. Oh my gosh, if that was an hour long, girl. Ugh. But you do feel the pain and you feel the needle rocking around and doing with this thing. You can feel it. I felt it. I felt it. So that's my experience. That's what happened. I'm still in pain. They told me I can expect to feel some, see some bruising and continue to feel pain and discomfort for several days. So there you go. Hopefully everything is fine. I will get some wonderful news that, you know, the, the, the aspirations came out, you know, with nothing to be concerned about, but I know with the oneness in question, when they did, when they gave it to the women, to the team of three over there, they were talking a whole lot more than they did with the other side that is not in question. And then the doctor, he kept capturing more stuff during the procedure. And he was talking to the guy, capture that, capture that, capture that, capture that. He kept telling him to capture that, like, you know, electro electronically on the sonogram machine. Um, they only captured a few things over here. But over here, it was like, capture it, capture it, capture it. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's nothing. I'm hoping. So, and then I still have to do my blood test. So, yeah. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. And um, that's my experience. Hope that helps somebody.